I think the the biggest motivation though for anyone keeping anyone motivated is connecting to the reason the purpose as to why you're doing what you're doing and who you're doing it for and like what does that even mean deck came in on Friday and it was good to be able to come back and not feel like the you know the building was crumbling type thing and you know I said to Chris and I'll say to you as well was it was good to know that I could entrust and it's not so much that whether I have to trust or not trust but it was it was good to have that feeling of being able to go it's it's been taken care of now it's I'm just I'm pumped to get back and get stuck into it and go through all of our clients we did that on Friday but you know just really hone in and concentrate on what we've got and make sure we're delivering and then again go through that next phase of onboarding new clients now so we're back welcome back <laughs> good timing that was legendary timing someone must be vacuuming up their rice we're back spent two weeks in bali Unleash Your Greatness event was great. Kept vlogging to a very minimum. In fact, I got off to a really good start. I vlogged the first day out. Once I was in Bali, it was more Bali beast mode, focused in on the event. Um, it was great, great feedback. People loved it. I loved it, it was great. The thing about doing those type of events is it's what I always learn myself from it as well, so that, that's always exciting. And then we spent a few days, Emily and myself, in a, fuck, it's getting loud here, isn't it? <laughs> Shut up, everyone! <laughs> Fucking rude. So you probably haven't seen a vlog for a week. We had some time off, but something exciting, some new things happening. We're uh, putting ourselves under the pump a little bit more. Oh, Jake, putting Jake under the pump a little bit more. Why? Because he can, because he unleashed his greatness. Basically, you're gonna be getting a, even a closer insight now. We're, we're gonna be running a day behind. So we're basically gonna film, edit, upload. The, the previous vlogs were running a week behind, purely based on a number of reasons, is because we started and then we allowed ourselves a week to, to get some editing and some uh, episodes under our belt. But we thought, you know what? When we get back, let's keep it fresh. It's a good test for us as well to be able to be more sharp with the content. It'll be more fresh for you as well because you're editing straight off the bat, so that's exciting as well. Got a lot happening this week. We've got six interviews. We're looking for uh, amazing digital strategists, um, ninja admins. This week I've got a speaking gig on Wednesday, which will be interesting because we're actually speaking about vlogging and, and video. Got our Authority Academy event two weeks coming up. And then got our Inner Circle meetings. We've got a lot, lot coming up in the next 30 days, that's for sure. And in other news, uh, 30 days of, of health and wellness. I went and bought new shorts, so I was I was wearing size 36 shorts. So I know it's a bit of a waste. I went and bought some size 34s before we went to Bali. Over the two weeks of being in Bali, I sort of I was a little bit loose with looser with my nutrition, but now my size 34 pants are already loose. What is this? 34s already loose. What? I did 30 days without exercising because I had a bung foot. That's how I did it. <laughs> 30 days, exercise, no exercise, and it was actually really amazing to see what what uh, come from it, which I think as entrepreneurs and business owners, the missing link bet between, you know, having that sustained energy to be able to work through multiple different tasks, to be able to overcome multiple different objections in businesses, you need to have a clearer mind, you know, you need to have a clearer, um, attitude and as, as funny as it is and as I, I, the irony in it being in the health and wellness industry where I started my career I should give myself uppercuts for it because I know the value of having good nutrition and looking after your body you know looking after your body and mind so my mental clarity hasn't hasn't been at this peak for since I can remember so especially when you're building a new company and you're got other companies that you're building as well um, there's a secret company that I'm going to reveal to you shortly that we've been that I've been building as well which I haven't even been talking about so it's uh, there's, there's lots going on it's exciting team, team managed well I still had communication obviously I didn't go I didn't do radio silence um, 
bit hard when you're you know, bringing your clients on board and so forth. But that's the beauty of the digital world, you know, you can work from anywhere in the world and uh, still keep things moving as if I was sitting here. The big goals for us with CMG is going through what we'd call phase two. You know, we've gone through phase one, we got fully booked onboarding clients, going through that process, now we're ready to, to bring on a handful more, um, which is a very important component when building a business, not opening the floodgates and you know being overwhelmed and you end up sinking the ship. That's definitely not what you want to do. We're taking it in strategic steps. You know, we, we put out a couple of job applications. You know, I mean, we've had hundreds of applications for an admin. We've, we've had, you know, dozens of applications for digital strategists and there's that feeling where you can go, oh, let's just bring on half a dozen people right now. But you've got to do it in a strategic format. Um, it's sort of like the Uber business, you know, it's like, when do we bring on more Uber drivers? Well, when there's more customers. But if you bring on Uber drivers and there's no customers, the Uber drivers are going to disappear and they're like, well, this isn't working. So it's, it's that, how do you bring in, um, you know, the client and the, um, the employee, you know, the team to balance that out. So it's a good juggle at the moment. Things are going really well, excited. Well, I think the number one way to get anyone motivated is to give them, you know, ownership and give them responsibility of tasks or projects or whatever it is that, that's currently being delivered. Motivation is not so much always an external, extrinsic thing. I think the real motivation and inspiration comes from being internally, like intrinsically motivated, um, which, you know, you have a bigger meaning, you have a bigger purpose. You know, like, so one thing we love to do is we want to make sure that, you know, our team, we're all invested in the results of our clients. So we're actually treating it like it would be our own business, like it's our own money that we're investing. You know, you can jump around with streamers and you can have a great company culture and you can, you know, have fun talking and hanging out and you know discussing certain things that's one little element of it but i think it really comes back to creating a bigger purpose and connection of to why you're working on this current project so people think motivation comes from hurrah and big motivational speeches and give someone the pat on the back and which i think is also relevant you know you, you've got to give people credit and you've got to shine a spotlight on things that have been done well and you know because we all like critique we all like feedback we've all got an ego you know you, you've got to be able to feed the ego properly not too much and on the flip side if you're not feeding the ego people will start to lose connection and purpose for why they're doing what they're doing as well so some people like to be praised rewarded more than others for some people just to thank you and i appreciate what you're doing is, is enough where other people you know, can can tend to feel like they're being acknowledged by making it a big thing. You know, some people like to be acknowledged in private, some like to be acknowledged in public. So it's just finding out that and, and creating a blend. I mean, I don't think you, it, you can get into the trap of overthinking it. I think the, the biggest motivation though, for anyone, keeping anyone motivated, is connecting to the reason, the purpose as to why you're doing what you're doing and who you're doing it for. And like, what does that even mean? And then secondly, recognition is, is a very powerful motivator as well that can be done on many different many different ways and then third is having the ownership of you've got a responsibility it's on your shoulders knowing that there's team and support around that but people love to have a level of responsibility you know when you give someone you know responsibility for something and they're now in the mindset of oh I need to you know I'm gonna put my best foot forward here because this is me leading the charge you know and it doesn't have to be a major project or a huge milestone it could be something small but that's why I'm a real big fan of going, okay, this is, this is what we want to do. This is the end outcome we're leading towards. Come back to me with what you think you should, we, should, we, should, we should do here. Because people love to be able to go, yeah, I had a part to play in that. I did that. I know what it's like because I was, I was someone who was an employee for a long time as well. I knew how I personally like to be motivated or rewarded. For me, just a pat on the back, oh man, great job, you're doing a great job, was enough. And it was funny because that's what I didn't receive. Yeah, but uh, look, there's, there's many ways to go about it. That's it, that's the vlog, we're done. Give me a... Day's over, day back. This will be live within 12 hours. That'll be a first. If you did enjoy today's vlog, please like, subscribe, share, comment. 
press any button you can on your phone or your computer, I'd appreciate it. And be sure if you have any questions, you should send an email to support. Chris at support, he's, he's managing that support desk like crazy. He's good. Chris is waiting there on support all night, 24 seven. He's one of our old sign-offs. <laughs> I've got brain fire. I'm, I'm thinking about the sales copy I'm about to write, not signing off a vlog. Right, get out of here. So we'll use that as signing off to the vlog. That's it for today.